G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam, and in this video we're going to talk about how to use symmetric encryption to send encrypted values from Marketing Cloud to an external server, or for an external server to send encrypted values into Marketing Cloud. So as I've covered previously, you can use symmetric encryption to encrypt your customer's data to transmit it safely. However, all my previous examples were limited to use cases within Marketing Cloud, encoding data in Marketing Cloud and then reusing it again within Marketing Cloud. So today we'll go through a slightly different use case and we'll learn how to use symmetric encryption to communicate encrypted values to an external service. So to showcase how this works, I have an email in Email Studio, which I've got some pre-filled HTML script in here. To start off with, we are going to specify some text to encrypt and a key to use to encrypt it. Now I've made this key by going to a random hex number generator and making some new keys. So I can then copy that key and paste it back into my email code. The output line function here is going to use the encrypt symmetric function to encrypt our text using the data encryption standard with the ECB mode and with some padding as well. Of course, using that key as our key for the encryption. You can test this out by going next and have a look at what the encrypted value looks like for my name. And here it is, that's my name encrypted. I can take that value and go back into our email. I can then use my code example here to then encrypt that code text. And I'll then output that encrypted code. You can see here that I'm using the encrypted text as my input value for the decrypt symmetric using the same function, DES, the ECB function on PKCS7 using the same key as before. So let's try it out, see if I can encode and then decode. As you can see, there's the encrypted value and of course the decrypted value as well. So that's all good and well, there's nothing new here. We are still encrypting and decrypting within Marketing Cloud. So let's take our show on the road and try this on an external service. I've got my encrypted value for my name here, which I can copy and go to an external site and try and decode it. So here we have a DES encryption and decryption tool online. I can input my content. This content of course is in the base64 encrypted method. I used ECB and the correct padding of course in my DES function. Now the password is the key that I used. So if I go back into my email, I copy my key, that'll be the encryption password. I can paste that in. And of course, for our output, I wanna see the string value. So I can then try to decrypt that function. And hopefully we will see, there we are, my name. Okay, so it works one way, let's try the other way. If I go in and put in some content to encrypt in this site, let's then try and decrypt it in Marketing Cloud. So let's try something out, we'll go, it's working. And we're going to try and input that as a string. We're going to use the same padding and for a password, let's make a whole brand new password. That key there, we'll make that our key. We want to output that function in our base64 code. Let's now encrypt that it's working. This is the value here, which has been encrypted. Let's take that function, go back into our marketing cloud. We'll of course put that as our encoded text. And of course, we have to change our string as well. So we'll go back and change our key. Our key string, there it is, that's our new key. So now we are going to hopefully see this encrypted text, which hopefully from our original site is going to output it's working as the decrypted text inside Marketing Cloud. We can give it a try by going next and it's working. There we are. We could take our encrypted values from the website, our external site, using the same encryption method, DES, using the mode of ECB, the PKCS7 padding type, we can then decrypt that using AMP script inside Marketing Cloud. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick demonstration of how to use the DES encryption method to send and receive encrypted values in Marketing Cloud. If you have, please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you are notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.